So I've done a number of videos on our uh, T-Post and PVC electric fence and learned a good number of things along the way and picked up some tips. So I want to do like a final uh, wrap up how to on this thing. So first we'll look at a corner post. What I found was <clears throat> you could use regular eyelet screws all the way down on a corner post because I'm going to use them for guides for our hot, uh, hot lines. The ground wires, I just kind of tied them off because it's a ground so I don't have to worry about any arcing or anything. Now these little guys are, oh, yep that's hot, they are great for tensioning. Now I'll post the link to where I got the uh, where I got the rope as well but the diameter it's it's not real thick but it is nice and white so it's visible you know unlike wire now it slides right through these connectors so when I need to tension it up I can just pull the rope taut take the excess because it loops through take the excess bend it over tie a knot and there you are you're nice and tight again because these things do stretch out a little bit uh, especially after the first day and then what I do is I run one from one side take the pigtail run it to the next one now you could join these two together however you like but I do suggest don't just rely on the contact you get inside here run yourself a wire and you could use like a jumper or however you want to do it now the other posts along the fence line um, I ended up going with just the screw-in insulator for the grounds you know again I'm just using a regular eyelet screw because that's no biggie so we've got a hot, a ground, another hot, another ground, and the bottom is hot. Now another thing that I really recommend is run all of these independently. And I'll show you what I mean over here where we have the hot wire coming in from the charger. So our top line is where the feed comes in. And I made these jumpers to go from line. And this one right here is not connected at the moment, but that would connect right there, giving us our top, middle, and bottom hot wire. The advantage is, like right now, you can tell I'm pretty far behind on the weed whacking. Plus in the winter time, you're going to have snow piling up, so you may need to disconnect the bottom uh, hot wire. <clears throat> and also, if each one is independent, a line can break and you're not going to lose charge on your entire fence. Like here, our top wire will always be hot. The middle and the bottom hot wires will be hot as long as I have the jumpers going across. So it eliminates that single point of failure of running lines, you know, a single line through as much of the fence as the line will reach. <laughs> now here I used um, insulators all the way down on this one there's nothing wrong with that but I didn't have to I could have just gone with the eyelets and your corner post uh, insulators and all the way down the fence we've got good insulators on the hot and just regular eyelet screws uh, for the grounds and the eyelet screws you can pick up really cheap uh, I've it was a box of, I want to say 30 for like 7 or 8 bucks. The screw-in insulators, um, 
about forty dollars for a hundred of them and the line that I used it's called power flax and I got uh, it was 2,600 feet for 112 bucks, somewhere, something like that. And the PVC, not terribly expensive either. And again, we just went with the T posts that were already in place and basically just covered the T posts with the PVC. Filled the PVC with cement, and this one, this pasture here, I just finished up yesterday, so I need to go back through and put the end caps on because you do want to put on an end cap, keep water out of there, and it kind of gives a good finished look. Now, another note about your corners: I doubled up on the T post. There's T post driven into the ground. Plus I wired another T-post to it to extend all the way to the top. And that makes it nice and rigid. And there's the boys grazing. We really don't have any kind of problem with them testing the fence. The idea of having a hot, a ground, a hot, and a ground is so that if they do lean up against it, I don't have to rely on the soil condition to make sure that they're grounded and they get a full shock. If they lean against it, they're bound to hit two, one hot and one ground, and they're gonna get bit. But it has been an awfully long time since these guys have retested uh, any of these ropes. They've all been bit once or twice, and that's all it took. Like, Digger and Bella down there, I don't even have to turn the charger on. They're not going to go anywhere near this fence. But as long as it is uh, hot, they can tell there's a charge there. And they stay clear from it. And it came out looking really good. I was very happy with it. And now the only maintenance I'll ever have to do or is the ropes itself. Uh, the one problem we had with the wood post is that the, the kids would chew on them. And they chewed down a couple of posts almost to nothing over the winter time. So the PVC is something that they're not going to chew on either. So <clears throat> my prediction is this fence will be here for decades. You could get really fancy if you wanted and cement in your T-posts, but the T-posts that were here, uh, they've been here for probably over 10 years, and they're not going anywhere. Uh, the ground, it lo it's nice and black soil for like the first six inches. Below that, we start hitting rock, and pounding these T-posts in, because I did have to replace a couple, it is not easy once you get past that initial six inches. It's down to rock. Oh, hi Gus. Do you want to try out the fence? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. Do you even know that the bottom one's not hot? I'll heat it up again once I uh, get the weed whacking done. Gus is a great horse. He's he's such a gentle giant. His problem is that he is afraid of everything. Don't worry, pal. I'll be in there with the fly spray and stuff soon. All right. So that's kind of a wrap up on the T post and PVC fence. Low maintenance, as close as you can probably get to no maintenance, and it actually looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it.